Hey everybody, welcome back to Principles of Marketing. I am Professor Martin. In our video today, we're gonna to be taking a look at social media marketing and focusing on effective content and trying to hammer down some of the characteristics of what effective social media content looks like. And so I'm excited for that. I hope you're doing well wherever you are. We'll jump right into it today. In our video before on social media marketing, we looked at Bucky's and we talked about Bucky's Facebook page and how they maybe measured certain levels of engagement on their post. We talked about activity measurements, how many people were uh, following their Facebook page, that kind of thing. We also talked about conversion, click-through rates, how many people are we converting into a paying customer with our social media content. All very important measurements. We talked about how to measure social media content and the effectiveness. Today we're going to talk about what makes good social media content. There's a few characteristics that good social media content shares. I want to run through those with you real quick and then we'll put them to an example. First of all, good social media content has a strong brand focus. It's kind of a buzzword. It's kind of cliche, but you've probably heard about staying on brand. Uh, like maybe you have a friend that does goofy stuff all the time and you're out with them and they do something goofy and you say, boy, that was on brand. You know, uh, it's kind of become cliche at this point, but it's true. In social media, we like to keep a strong brand focus. We want our content to be on brand. Wendy's is a great example. Uh, Wendy's, uh, if you follow their Twitter feed, boy, it's on brand. Wendy's kind of has a snarky, edgy brand that they've developed. Uh, despite the <laughs> little redheaded, you know, mascot they've got going on, they kind of have an edgy presence on social media and they stay on brand with that presence. Good social media content is audience focused. It highlights customers, it highlights customer story, and it invites conversation. It's not just screaming into a black void, but it's inviting two-way conversation. It's audience focused. Get involved. It also has targeted keywords that are search engine friendly or maybe hashtags that can be looked up on social media uh, and kind of measured and, and promoted that way. It also sticks to relevant information. It gives you information maybe beyond the basics. Think about maybe a uh, uh, grill manufacturer like Weber or a Blackstone. Not only here's uh, the product, but also Here's some recipes you could do on it. Here's how to take care of it. Keep it lasting for years and years. Let's go beyond the basics and give people relevant information that ties into our brand. And then finally, it's shareworthy. Brands and customers both sharing it back and forth. Uh, people want to see that content and get it out there and I mean, just tracking all kinds of eyeballs. So. All those are characteristics of good social media content, that strong brand focus, audience focused in a two-way conversation, targeted keywords that are easy to find. It's relevant, takes you beyond just basic information about the product, and it's also shareworthy, whether it be a video, a graphic, whatever. All that characteristics of good content. So let's take those characteristics and apply it to a business that I feel does a pretty good job producing social media content and that is Magic Spoon. If you've never heard of Magic Spoon, basically it is a cereal for adults. It's a less sugar, healthier for you, but still supposedly tastes great. Not something that you're going to find in your local grocery. They only sell it direct to consumer through their website and social media pages. Me, I've never had it. Uh, you know, even though I'd probably be considering their target market, the funny thing happens when you get over 40, you can't, you know, slam four bowls of Lucky Charms or tricks like I used to when I was a kid and or growing up. If I do that stuff now, I'll have a heart attack. So now I've got to eat stuff like life. Uh, that's the kind of cereal that's my jam now. So Magic Spoon, hypothetically, would be something that I should be into. I should be in their target market. What's keeping me from Magic Spoon is the price point. Price point of about $12 a box after you pay shipping. I bought my Mikey Likes It Life cereal at Kroger for a buck 97 this week, and that's even with all the crazy inflation going on. So right now I'm Team Life. I'm not Team Magic Spoon yet, but I dig what they do on social media. As you can see, this is the front page of their website here, and uh, you can they've got kind of a vibe going on here. I'm not sure what you would call this vibe, but it's a vibe, right? 
And you got the purples and the pastel colors, the pinks and all that going on here. And we're going to dig a little bit deeper and look at their Facebook page. Here we've got, you can see again, the level of activity. They've got about 100,000 people following their Facebook page here. Got their shop up on the side where you can click through. We talked about click through rate and conversion. I can click through and buy the cereal directly from their Facebook page. And you can see they've got again, kind of the, the color schemes going on here. A few different flavors. They've got cookies and cream, fruit, peanut butter, uh, cinnamon roll, that kind of thing. So let's look at some of their posts that they have on their Facebook page and kind of evaluate it using the criteria or the characteristics that I showed you before. Here's a post on May 20th. Bowl lovers, make yourselves heard. What color bowl should we make next? So we can actually buy a bowl made by Magic Spoon that has that kind of color vibe going on. Strong brand focus, right? That color scheme is working in every one of their Facebook posts. Those pastel colors, light, colorful. Audience focused, they're asking, hey, audience, fans, followers, what color do you want to see? And it might seem trivial to me, might seem trivial to you. Some people dig that stuff and you can see all the people. I love the bowls, pink polka dot, pink and purple, neon pink, all these people coming back and forth. So audience focused in that post, they were looking for people to engage with it. Targeted keywords, I'm not sure that you could really target a lot of keywords here. Um, maybe target the word bowl. <laughs> I'm not sure where that would tie in, but then they've ticked off the first two boxes here. Relevant information. Uh, obviously, people will find some kind of relevance in having a bowl that matches their cereal box. And shareworthy. I mean, that's a cool looking picture, right? You've got the bowl stacked up, the uh, cereal kind of oozing out of it, the logo right there. A little bit of shareworthy going on there. So some pretty good content right there from Magic Spoon. Another one on May 3rd, a limited edition flavor they had. Uh, around their anniversary was a birthday cake flavor and you can see they're promoting that there again the strong brand focus look at the colors the bowl reflecting off of the table there um, so again a very eye-catching social media that they've got going on and on May 10th they have a breakfast worth waking up for and you can see our magic spoon right there again uh, Maybe some relevant information. It's not really a recipe, but it's showing you a way to maybe use the product that you hadn't thought of before. And I would say that's pretty shareworthy. That's a neat looking little photo there. Uh, if you're looking for cereal, you know, uh, some kind of breakfast ideas that might appeal to you. And finally, we'll wrap up here on their Instagram page. They've come up with a what they call a strewn maybe a targeted keyword hashtag worthy i don't know is strewn hashtag worthy hashtag strewn a strewn is a straw spoon combination that you can use in their cereal obviously to get that milk out of the bowl after you've already uh, eaten the cereal and they're selling that again they've got that strong brand focus with the color scheme and the logo going on there and, uh, and so they've done a good job with that as well so our characteristics that we're looking for, strong brand focus, we're trying to stay on brand, audience focused content is always a good idea, getting that back and forth with the audience, keywords that can be easily found or hashtag, relevant information that the customers can use uh, to maybe push that product in a way they hadn't thought of, use it in ways they haven't considered, and shareworthy. You know, that's the ultimate, right? To go viral and have people sharing that content all over the place. So, the takeaway from today, with the right content, maybe you can convince people to pay $12 a box for a small box of cereal. They haven't got there with me yet. Maybe soon. Lower the price a little bit. Maybe if the college gives me a raise where I feel like I can buy $12 boxes of cereal, I'll take the plan. But for now, again, we're staying on Team Life here at the Martin Household. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out anytime. I'd love to hear from you. Other than that, we'll see you back here next time for our next video. Take care, everybody.